Hello everyone, you are listening to You've Got Five Options show on Ungdoms Radio. Tune in at 98.7 every Monday and Wednesday at 11.30 and every odd Friday at 2 o'clock. Join us while we are solving yet another life challenge and if you decide to share your problem with us, yours can be next. Hello everyone, this is Marta and this is Anna and it's You've Got Five Options show where we are solving yet another life challenge together with Lasse. Hi Lasse. Hi, I'm back. Yes, you're back, just like Terminator, every single episode. And we are really happy to have you here because today we will be discussing another Tinder related challenge as we are Tinder experts, obviously. Right, Lasse? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. And Marta is Tinder almost expert. We will for sure be really insightful. So uh, today the challenge comes from a girl. We don't know her name, so I called her Ruby and Marta will read it for you now. Yes, here comes the challenge. I have a boyfriend and I am in a relationship for a year. It's all great and I was convinced that it's a good relationship. But last weekend I went out with my girlfriend and one of them just installed Tinder. So we were looking at it for fun. And then suddenly my boyfriend's picture shows up. I was surprised and shocked. It was kind of awkward and my friend started to cheer me up, saying that he probably installed it as a joke. But when we looked into details, I saw that his profile looks good, with really good pictures and description. It looked like he really put some effort into it and was looking for someone. I don't know what to do now. I thought of asking him about it, but I don't want him to think I was spying on him. Besides, he is a bit jealous, so he may think I have installed Tinder and not my friend. I usually trust him, but now I feel really weird and it bothers me. Do you have any options? How can I find out why is he on Tinder? Boom. That's actually uh, that's that's an interesting challenge. But before we will start, we didn't got we got some details, and I would just like to say that for the time being, Ruby, I wouldn't panic yet because, for instance, there is an option that this is an old profile. You never had Tinder. Maybe your boyfriend had a profile before. And to be honest, many people they don't close their profile on Tinder. They just have it there, but they don't use it. You know, so. It could be that the profile is old. Of course, you can tell by the pictures. If those are recent pictures, then of course, yeah, it means that he just recently did it. But uh, you didn't give us this detail. So first of all, maybe just uh, try to figure out how old were the pictures, because that can maybe give you already some sort of a a, a hint over the situation. But um, I think that I understand it's awkward. I understand it's weird. You are in a relationship. You are happy. You are together for a year. And suddenly uh, one of your girlfriends discover your boyfriend on Tinder. But I would say again, do not panic because maybe it's a profile that he doesn't use. Maybe it's a profile that he actually did for fun, but he just wanted to look nice or to check something. I don't know. So I would say let's not panic, but let's try to see what options do you have in order to find out why he is on Tinder. What do you think, Marta? Well, I don't know how Tinder works, right? So if it is possible that he has installed two years ago and he hasn't been using it for a year now, would this would he still be appearing as an option, you know, when you swipe or I I don't know how it works? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Lasse, give us some knowledge. You are the most experienced Tinder user here. Well, I think you actually said it correct. I mean, most people, even if they take a break for Tinder, they don't, you know, uh, close down their account. So they will still appear, you know, when people swipe right or left, they can still, you know, uh, be someone they can they can find on Tinder. So it could be that it's just an old account. You know? Yes. And then additionally, uh, you know, you may not even go there or use it. And even if your uh, profile is there, people can still like swipe you and like you. But as you don't use it, you don't swipe. So you never get a match and you never get a possibility to chat with someone. Your profile is just there. I've heard of people who never uninstalled Tinder, but let's say they just have it there. 
like any other application or sometimes you can log out or, or, or do something else, you know, with it. But it doesn't necessarily mean that he's actively using it. So that's actually number one. But uh, we understand that you are bothered. Lasser, w would you be bothered by the situation if that was your girlfriend? You know, maybe a little bit mm -hmm. because, yeah, I don't know. You know, it's a, it's a little weird maybe at, f at first, I would think, you know, because is she actually using Tinder or is it just an old profile? Like, I think my first thought was, oh, that's strange. But, mm -hmm. you know, as I think it through, it could be an old, uh, you know, profile. Uh, and I would maybe try and ask her. You know? Yeah, that's and actually yeah. one of our options. Yeah. That's true, because now I will tell you the options. And some of the options might sound controversial, but this show is called You've Got Five Options. We are not judging the way you, you, you behave or act. So we give you five options and maybe we wouldn't personally go for them but they are options nevertheless so we are very open-minded here so option number one try to check his phone option number two create a fake profile and try to match with him option number three tell him you found out that he's cheating and see his reaction option number four start a conversation about tinder in general and try to see his attitude towards it and option number five of course ask him directly what's going on. So those are the options. And I think as, uh, as I mentioned, some of them might be controversial, but they are options. Nevertheless, you ask us, how can you find out why he is on Tinder? And this is Ruby. How can you find out? So option number one is try to check his phone. What do you think, guys? Well, first of all, I would say that uh, I have a little bit unrelated comment. Guys, in case you hear any sounds uh, or noises, uh, please remember that we are recording on the radio and uh, we uh, and our wonderful radio crew has a meeting uh, next door. So if you hear any noises, uh, just know that this is a bunch of creative people meeting together to talk about the program on the radio and TV. So that was the first comment. And the second comment, Comment. To be honest, uh, that is an option and we are not judgmental towards options. So that is an option if you feel good about doing it. If that's something that feels fine, it gives you a good stomach feeling, then yes, it is an option. I must say that it's not my favorite option. Uh, if you are in a relationship for a year and you say that usually you trust him, right now you may have encountered a very old profile completely unused. You may be actually breaking that trust between the two of you by checking his phone. So I must admit that that would not be my go-to option. Yeah, I agree. But I think that from all the options that I have uh, read this option is the most effective in a way to finding out because even if you ask someone someone can lie if you start a conversation or whatsoever uh, it can go different ways when you see stuff on a phone you see stuff on a phone right so from the pure effectiveness point of view this option probably is the most effective now my personal opinion is um I will be very honest right now, only one time in my life I have checked a phone or let's say some kind of devices of my partner that was five or six years ago and I was right but I think I had the hunch that something is happening so uh, I did it only once and uh, I really disliked it and I remember because I'm very much into privacy so I really don't like when someone is uh, if someone would go through my phone, I, I, that might be a deal breaker for me. So I don't do it. But I think that in a moment when you feel like checking a phone of your boyfriend or a girlfriend, that is actually the beginning of the end. Because if you don't have a trust and you need to go into the phones, uh, or, or I don't know, computers, then uh, it means that you are unable to trust and communicate directly. However, I also know some of the situations. I had the situations like this, but after one situation after that, I promised myself that I will never do it again. And if I will be in a situation when I will be very tempted to do it, I would either talk very, very directly. I am a direct person or I will simply reconsider being with that person. Uh, but I know some uh, some of my friends who also did it. And, you know, there are situations and situations when you really feel that someone is lying to you. Yeah, it could be a tempting thing. What do you think, guys? 
Well, I definitely think that if you ha would have started with option number five, asking him directly, <laughs> and you would go get an answer, oh, I'm not using Tinder, that's an old stuff, but you would actually find more signs pointing towards that uh, he might be onto something. And then you ask him again, and you again get an answer, no, but you have a stomach feeling that something is not right. And you have a stomach feeling telling you that he's actually lying to you directly to your face. That could be a situation where I could imagine going for something like that. But that would be really if I would have talked to my partner several times and if I would have a very strong feeling that he is directly lying to me. What about you, Lasse? How would you feel about that? Um, well, I also feel like that's a really drastic option, checking the phone. Um, I, I definitely feel like that you should try with option five, you know, and then maybe option one, because it's all about trust. And if you don't believe your, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, then there's an issue. You know, yeah. if if you talk to them like very directly, like I saw this profile and I actually just want to know is like, is it just an old profile? Like what's going on? Is there something you want to talk about? Like, I just need to know, you know, but if you still like had that like feeling in your stomach or something that like, I don't know if I quite trust them, like th then there's a deeper issue, you know, I think. And, and, I, and I feel like, like you said earlier, Anna, that checking the phone, for me, that's kind of a sign of well, then the relationship is maybe all going like towards an end because then there's lacking trust and trust is like the foundation for me, at least for everything. So yeah. I would just mention one thing. There is also one very distinctive part where you have your self-trust issues. There are people who are not very self-confident, not very self-secure, or they may have been cheated on in previous relationships. So this can be going on only in their head. There are people who are jealous, who are feeling insecure, who are suspecting something is happening and there is nothing happening. They just have mess you know, in their head because of previous experiences, someone has cheated on them or something like that. That's actually the people that I know that check their partner's phones. It's because they have experienced something like that in previous relationships. Yeah, I, I think that this is, a, this is a very good point, Marta. But then the question is, what would we advise to those people? Like, for instance, should you be in a relationship if you have such a huge trust issues? Because then being in a situation like this and having this mindset, you always hurt other people by, I don't know, distrusting him, you know? Well, I would definitely never go to uh, like advise people to quit any relationships because they have issues. I mean, do you know any person that doesn't have issues? No. No. OK, that's good, because I don't know either. Yeah, <laughs> each one of us has issues. And the most important part is that we have to acknowledge that the issues are our own and that we have to work on them. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't be in a relationship or we can't. Maybe it sometimes does, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it just means we have an issue that needs attention and we have to take care of it ourselves because it's our issue. Yeah, I think I totally agree with you. It was really beautifully said. I think that the biggest challenge is here that many times we don't realize we have those issues. So we are like, yeah, I don't trust this person because something some we don't even know that this is all in our head. And I think the awareness is the very first step. And then, yeah, taking responsibility for that and maybe working together with your partner on that issue but we are getting a little bit too i would say uh, philosophical and deep for this no, no challenge is actually quite deep i would say it, it really touches upon a uh, issue of trust it just has this tinder let's say angle but uh, the second option is more for fun it's uh, but it's a it's actually interesting option nevertheless because it is create a fake profile and try to match with him so of course it's a long shot because i don't know for th those of you who don't use tinder Tinder is connected with your Facebook account. People don't have an access to your Facebook account, but Tinder is created based on your Facebook. So if you want to create a fake account, first you have to create a fake Facebook account and then the information will be drawn from there. Uh, so it's a little bit of a, of a I would say, 
malicious spying job that's number one but it could be an option that you could ruby just create yourself an account on facebook and then create an account on tinder with some fake pictures and i know that some people are doing that and i'm totally against it but let's say you would play a little bit of a detective you know your boyfriend very well you know what he likes you know what girl he would technically swipe left and then you can just have that profile there and try to find him swipe him left and see if he will swipe you back and if you will become a match you can try to figure out what he really looks for on tinder yeah that is an option it's i guess from a very similar category that option number one yeah because that's still the one pointing out to heavy trust issues yes either self-trust uh, meaning those issues that you have uh, based on yourself or based on the fact that you are actually really feeling there is something wrong in a relationship so uh, yeah but uh, as we said it's an option and if you like it if you feel that it could work for you there you go yeah i think that uh, with this option um, i would say it's it's like a little bit of an elaborated scam but it's an option nevertheless and because one thing that made me wonder in your challenge description because i was thinking my first reaction was just ask him but you mentioned something that he's a bit jealous so he might think i have installed tinder and not my friend so it looks like one of the reasons why you are um, not going naturally for a direct conversation is that you are trying to hide that your friend had a tinder because you are afraid he will think that you installed yourself a tinder and that's an interesting information because maybe there are some trust issues from both sides yeah and then again is it uh, trust issues because there is uh, something wrong with I mean, if there is something wrong with the people in a relationship, there usually is something wrong in the relationship because, of course, we bring our issues to the table yes. <laughs> when we are in a relationship, of course. But I think it's a very valid point because if you are uh, concerned about talking directly to your boyfriend because he's jealous, that's definitely pointing out to some um, issues. <laughs> yeah, like it's a Swedish table, like a Swedish buffet of issues. Well, maybe a little. No, Ruby, we are, of course, uh, joking. But uh, yeah, th that that sentence was the sentence that made me wonder, you know, that uh, it's not like you are maybe worried about asking him directly because maybe he would say something to you like, why are you saying those things or something? It looks like you also are a bit worried that he might presume you have installed Tinder. And you mentioned that he's a bit jealous. So uh, interesting. And I think you should mm, kind of look into that because it's uh, if people cannot talk directly in a relationship, that is um, that's never good, you know. No, definitely. It seems like the thing that you have to work on is this communication because uh, it cannot be that you cannot talk directly to your boyfriend because you are afraid he would be jealous. It is also not good if uh, if he actually has that account and uh, you can't ask him about it <laughs> to find out uh, what's really going on. So definitely things here for you to consider is to work on the communication and on the trust issues on both sides. I, as I mentioned, I mean, every single relationship has issues. It's not like it's it's uh, something really wrong, really bad, or that you should just, you know, dump him because uh, of that. But it just shows you there are things that need attention and you now have a perfect opportunity to take it up because it's like waving in your face now. So, yeah, that's probably what you should uh, look into. Yeah, but of course we have more options because we are very creative and there is option number three and this option is also a little bit of a, of a, I would say, tricky option, but I think it could be better than one and two. Tell him you found out he is cheating on you and see how he reacts. Cheating or maybe something like someone have seen you with a girl. So basically this is when you are trying to like um, get out of the Tinder subject because for some reason you are afraid he might think it was your profile or you installed it. Um, and you basically try to confront him over something that is uh, invented and see his reaction live. And it doesn't have to be like, I know you're cheating on me, but for instance, my friends have seen you with another girl. Can you please explain me what, what is going on? It's again, not 
uh, an option I would recommend for a mature open relationship, but that's an option that still could work nevertheless, because you can see someone's reaction when he's straight away confronted with an information like this. Yeah, I would say it's one uh, of uh, of those options where uh, that could probably be a valid one if you are like sincerely and seriously suspecting that he is onto something. If you are thinking more, it's like something in your head. If you really feel that the guy is trustworthy, I would not recommend going for that option. But if you really have this very strong stomach feeling that there could be something really wrong going on and you are afraid uh, that he can, you know, like turn the situation around around and uh, tell you, oh, what were you doing on Tinder? And like, you know, completely uh, uh, <laughs> like put it uh, completely around and make you feel uncomfortable with everything. It could be an option for you to consider. It really depends on your relationship. It really depends on if you read that option and you think it's brilliant, that's probably for you. If you read this option and you are like, nope, that's probably not for you. Exactly. And uh, Marta, you just said something very, very smart because we get a description like this and we don't really know what is the actual situation in your relationship, Ruby. We don't know what is your mindset and what is his mindset and how does it look like. So we just come up with absolutely everything that we can. Some of those things are a little bit more drastic than others. But Marta, you have you have said something uh, really important. Some of those options, they actually might be the last resort when you feel that someone starts to lie to you. Because there are situations when, you know, very rarely people who are cheating, they go and they say, I'm cheating on you. So I could understand that if you start to have suspicion and then you try to talk and confront someone and that person is responding, no, no, but you have a feeling he's lying. I could see some people trying more drastic options. But Ruby, this depends on you because you have described that you feel a bit awkward with it. You feel weird with it, that your friends were trying to cheer you up. But then and maybe that was also the situation, you know, you found the profile with your girlfriends. They said, listen, probably it's just for fun. And then you wrote that you went into the profile and you saw that actually the profile is done in a in a thoughtful way, right? Because normally when we install something for joke, we just put whatever to see what will happen. And you said that it looks like the profile is thoughtfully crafted, which might mean that he actually is indeed looking for someone. And maybe when your girlfriends were sitting with you, they started to say stuff that made you wonder could be it could be also very circumstantial you know sometimes our friends they are trying to help us but they actually build up even more insecurities around the situation but the bottom line is you really know how does it look like and when you will read those options i'm sure that instinctively you will be able to choose the one that fits the best your situation yeah, definitely. And uh, just one point to it is that this is one of the options that can build up to the further la lack of trust. <laughs> That's not the one that will help you to build on a honest communication and uh, solving the issues. It's something that can potentially because it's a tricky one. I you are trying to trick your uh, partner. Uh, so just just a comment but there are different situations there are different relationships we don't know how old are you and i wouldn't say that uh, that it's it's bad it's just something that you have to think about if it is the one for you that's the one for you yeah and then we have option number four which i think it's quite okay option especially if you for some reason are worried that your boyfriend will get jealous and uh, tell you that it's you who installed the tinder so it was start a conversation about tinder in general and try to see uh, his attitude towards it and it can be you don't necessarily just you know go to him and say listen i found you on tinder but you know you can just say you know when we were out with the girls i don't know my girlfriend she just installed tinder it kind of looked fun i looked into it da, da, da. what do you think about it did you ever had tinder are your guys finding someone on tinder it can be just a normal conversation about an application i have that conversations with my friends because more and more people are meeting on tinder dating via tinder even getting married after meeting on tinder so you can just start a conversation of course, the conversation has an agenda. You want to find out something. But then 
you might actually get his very neutral opinion about it. Yeah, I think it's actually so far from the options that we have been discussing. This one seems to be like the most for me, like something like, yeah, that that's a good way to start because I mean, you have some agenda, but it's not like you are trying to trick him or something like that. You may really want to honestly find out in a more or less neutral way because that gives an opening like so what do you think about tinder and you can just find out oh yeah i used to have tinder account before and uh, it was good or it was bad or i liked it i didn't like it and so on you can find an answer in it and you can uh, then you know by seeing what kind of answer you get uh, you can see if potentially which direction it goes because if if he answers for example oh that's a bullshit i would never use it and you know then exactly. you can you can see where it goes and you can see how the honesty looks like on his end so yeah exactly if he will say i never had tinder i think it's bullshit and you know you saw him then it's actually yeah then you have a kind of an answer that's why i think option number five could be the best one. Ask him directly because there is also a slight chance. We, we just mentioned this fake profiles that someone could have used his pictures. This happens. It's not like it happens to everyone, but there is quite a number of fake profiles either generated by uh, some spamming programs or some people are st it's called catfishing some people are stealing other people's pictures from internet and they make profiles for instance there is a slight chance it's also this right but asking him directly meaning telling listen honey i was out with my friends this and this friend of mine installed tinder we were looking through it and then we found you and i feel awkward about this and i would like to ask you what does it mean is it an old profile what's going on i think this is actually the most reasonable option and as i said this is what i would do personally but because ruby you ask what are my options to find out why he is on tinder we came up with five because we understand that for some reason you don't feel comfortable with asking him directly. Yeah, I mean, you have to take under consideration that you have been together for a year. So it's not like a fresh, still uncertain, unsecure situation. So being able to talk to him directly is a valid option. So maybe even if you are concerned, if you are afraid about his honesty or about him getting jealous or something, still you are writing that until now you have felt that you can trust him. So it's a very valid option to consider because if the guy is trustworthy and it is your issues that are clouding your vision, <laughs> so to speak, then uh, you are giving him the best option to simply come and tell you what's the reality, how it looks like. You have a direct opportunity to discuss it, to, you know, to approach the issues that you potentially have and may have and, uh, and then take it from there. Yes. So, dear Ruby, we gave you five options to check why your boyfriend has a Tinder profile. As we said, some of them are less controversial, some of them are more, some of them are very controversial. But it is your choice in the end of the day what you will do. I hope that the options we give to you and the commentary that followed with them gave you some idea of how you want to approach it. And it would be lovely if you would come back to us and tell us what you have chosen. Yes. Thank you, Ruby, for sharing your challenge with us and good luck. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. You are listening to You've Got Five Options show. Remember that we are on air every Monday, Wednesday and every second Friday. Remember that you can visit our website www.you'vegot5options.com That is www.y-o-u-v-e-g-o-t-5 as a number options.com where you can submit your challenge and find our podcast. You can also find us on iTunes or any podcast app. Du lytter til din lokale radio i Aarhus på FM 98,7 MHz og 89,5 MHz.